everyone, my name is Aileen Metcalf. I am the blogger behind Morsels and Moonshine, a vegan baking blog. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about some infusions you might want to try when you're considering baking using liquor or giving it as gifts. And the holidays are coming up, so I wanted to share this with you. This is my first blog series with video, so please bear with me. We're going to move along here. Uh, one of the things that I do want to say is that when you're considering infusing alcohol, and if you are vegan, some alcohol brands are not. So make sure you go to a website, it's wonderful. It's called barnivore.com and it'll tell you whether or not your liquor is vegan. Bacardi, vegan friendly. So in this Bacardi bottle, I have some vanilla beans and I have a few pods of cardamom. If you're not familiar with cardamom, it's a little green pod and it's from India. It's like the Indian version of cinnamon. It has a tremendously wonderful spicy flavor. A little goes a long way. So in this bottle, I probably only have four or five pods. The flavor comes through so clearly in baking, but also in infusing. I have several times tried different things like cucumber. Cucumber vodka, it comes through amazingly, but not when you bake. This one comes through when you bake. So this is one I'm gonna put into single serve containers for the holidays. Another one I'm doing is I got this giant handle of bourbon because it's my husband's favorite. And I infused it with uh, probably about a half a cup of coffee beans whole and then maybe a few sprigs of cinnamon. So once you stick it in there, you let it kind of marinate for about uh, six to eight weeks just to be on the safe side. At this point when the video is being shot, uh, the holidays, Christmas is about, uh, let's say six weeks away. So it'll have time to get the flavor out and you can strain it before you give it to people because you don't want to give it to people and leave them instructions of how to handle it. Another one that I have here, this is coffee beans with a little bit of cardamom pods, and this is the bourbon. So you can give the gift just like this once you strain out the items. You can wrap a ribbon around it, put a little tag. It's adorable. One of the last ones I wanna talk about with you today is this is red wine with a sachet of mulling spices. Traditionally, mulling spices are heated up over the oven and you, know, you get these great aromatic scents. But here, I've already concentrated it in there, so it already opened it up. It smells amazing, just like all the spices of the holidays. So these are just a few ideas if you're thinking about baking with liquor or you're thinking about giving some as gifts. This is Aileen at Morsels and Moonshine, and I hope you enjoyed this session.